T-E-S-S-I-C-A, she got that BS out today, T-E-S-S-I-C-A, Gorilla Glue got that glue out her hair today, cause she socked into a sock into a sock to us till she got it for free, sock into a sock into a sock till she got it known, sock into a sock to us, okay, <sighs> excuse the balloons everybody, but my birthday's coming up, so drop me a happy birthday in the comments and subscribe. Anyway, Tessica Brown, Gorilla Glue Girl, she got the BS out of her hair. She got the Gorilla Glutes out of her hair today. And I know we all know that, so I'm not gonna go on and on about this, but I didn't even really promise you guys I did not want to talk about this, but it is important to talk about because I do commentary, but I still think that Tessica is stupid, so if you don't agree, then bye. Anyway, so, in mention today, she went to the Beverly Hills plastic surgeon. It did not take him indeed three days to take it out. It took him one day and it was out by this morning. So I'm assuming it was an early morning procedure. You guys can look at the video. I'm sure you've already saw it. I'm gonna talk about how I feel about the video. If you don't know who Girl Goo Girl is, then go from under a rock. You can check out my other video as well. But we're gonna talk about how I felt about her reaction. So we see Tessica sitting there. She still had hair. Everyone's commenting like, oh my God, I can't believe she still has hair, da 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 da. Okay, cool. Because yes, it's the hands of a wonderful black man. We are powerful people. So that's why it got out. Actually, anyway. So she's sitting there and you know, thumbing through her hair and stuff and you know, looking and then they're asking her questions and she's like trying to cover her face, you know, doing the usual, oh no, I look too bad. Girl, don't try and do that now because we don't see you without that ponytail. That's why she wanted to keep that ponytail in for so long. She didn't want us to see it without it. So she still had some hang time in there. The doctor was able to remove the Gorilla Glue. And then she goes ahead and says she got to get ready and put something else in her head. My first issue. If this doctor, this renowned, wonderful, most renowned, great, black, on top of that, plastic surgeon, who has a lot of other things to do, comes and immediately says, yes, he'll take this out of her head without even a question because he thought it was a joke at first. You not, oh, thank you. Oh my God, yeah. Oh my goodness. She was doing all that talk. She, oh my God, don't look at me. Oh man. She probably like, what is my next move? I'm sorry, y'all, but I told you after I already got off the Richter and told y'all how I felt about it, I'm just going to keep the, the momentum going. So I'm just like, all right, that's cool. And then she goes on to talk about she need to get ready for Valentine's Day and all this. And I'm just like, okay, so that's it? That's all we talking about? All right. So my big thing is, you know, what is this whole situation and what to make out of it? Like, what do we... Okay, so this is over with. So what's going to happen next with, like, her career, her fame, her life? Like, what? Like, what? what what's next? Like, you know, what is next with that? I, I'm confused. I don't know. So this lady by the name of December Reed. So she was just a random lady who started a YouTube. Shout out to her. She did this video debunking basically the Gorilla Glue Girl. She put she she put her actual hair out to be desperate and dry and messed up. Um, desperate, desperate hair, desperate hair. But anyway, she put her hair down and she was you know putting the gorilla glue in her hair and I'm gonna show y'all the video now. So let's just look at this so you can see what this lady was doing. She did end up debunking it and getting it out with um, some type of like oil. I forgot what the name of it, honestly. Goo out, something like that. But it did come out. So let's look at this. In there, Bill. We'll be back. We're gonna let it sit about 30 more minutes. We're just gonna let it sit with her turn black. She should have knew something wasn't right, right? Okay, we should have knew something wasn't right. We're we'll gonna put some more of this in there to break it so on, yeah, this break is it a real on, lady break it who on. Did this, so shout out to her. She did at the end end up getting it out. So go check her out. She did get this out. So it definitely was not BS. It could come out. And also the doctor even said, and I'm gonna show you guys this now. He said that he used like olive, olive vera and like acetone, like some easy mixture that got the oil out. And I'm just like, girl, the ducks were in the ocean, you know, not being able to breathe, you know, then what's, what's the deal? They, they was in there messed up in the oil. Y'all remember the dove when all that oil got into the ocean and all the ducks out there? We have oil, 
were oiled. You know, I don't remember that. So she was up there like a duck dove. Everybody got that? I should put some dove in that head. I bet it came out. Anyway, let's watch what the doctor said. This wonderful, beautiful black man, what he had to say about this and what he did. Any compound, any compound can be broken down. And we went and got hair. So this is all hair, okay? Very typical black hair, okay? Real hair. Real hair, this is real human hair. Okay. You know, like everything we do, real human hair, we got it. We stuck it here, okay? And then we use hair extension. So this is hair extension, okay, with Gorilla Glue, okay? I can spin this all day. My kids were playing with last night. Uh, she had a lot of rotation on the scalp, especially the edges of her hair of her head uh, because of all the chemicals that she has put in. And the head was actually very, very tough, very, very matted down. See here, he does the breakdown, he knows his job. He said he thought it was a joke. He told us how, he showed us the head, his kids was playing with the head. Hey, ladies, the man is taken, sorry. But anyway, he said his kids was playing with the head because they thought it was funny. He figured it out last night, he was ready to go. The team was ready. So, you know, it, I just felt like it was still a waste of time, but whatever, I appreciate him and he has a kind heart. I hope people are more kind hearted than me, apparently. I'm actually very empathetic and very sweet, but when I get on here, I get all feisty and angry. I like that. But anyway, my next question for you guys is, uh, what's gonna happen to her next? Where do you think Tessa's, Tessica's career will go from now? Oh, are some of you so stupid that you think she's gonna get a Gorilla Glue endorsement? Why would a company endorse you when you use their product incorrectly? Why would Gorilla Glue even fathom fix their eyes to read a letter, a tweet from anyone who's stupid saying that she should get an endorsement? She didn't use Gorilla Glue on her hair and it actually worked and we get this to be the new got to be glued. It was actually the quite opposite. Also, I don't appreciate this because it's like she started a craze of stupidity. We already have enough stupid people on this planet. And now she's over here. You, you see the girl. I bet you didn't see the girl. She waxed her punani with uh -huh, Gorilla Glue strip. Gorilla Glue tape. <laughs> and it ripped off the friends literally pouring water down the crowd. So, um, still tell me if I'm wrong that this Gorilla Glue craze is, yeah, great, right? Very funny. Making people of color look stupid. Love it. Feel bad for us. Pay us for it. Whatever. Also, the man who super glued his hair, I believe he pulled out part of his scalp or something. Oh, his lips. I don't, you, you guys, I am just Comment if you've seen any other Gorilla Glue stories. We've seen the other girl on TikTok put it in her hair. They got the Gorilla Glue challenge. They got Gorilla Glue these nuts. How about that? Gorilla Glue these nuts. Because I'm just tired of it. Tired of it. Tired of it. So this is the last time I'm going to speak on this story. Probably not. But we'll see. I am going to do an update because I want to know what, what Tessica, what you going to do after this, Tessica. You just going to let this slide or, you know, are the people going to be upset about it? You know, I, I, I wish the white community here I go with the white community comments, would be just as empathetic and understand that Morgan Wallen shouldn't be saying the N-word. And if it's somebody you want to be mad at that's a Negro, then it should be this lady. But y'all got it all mixed up and twisted up. Mad telling me, cussing me out on the internet about saying, telling people Morgan Wallen shouldn't have said the N-word. But y'all over here sending money same type of caliber of people sending money to this poor lady so what are y'all doing it's twisted to me but i'm gonna leave it there because i'm about to get on my <laughs> so with that being said hit that subscribe button show your girl some love you guys i'm gonna be going out town soon so mm -hmm. make sure you guys hit that subscribe button show your girl some love and wish me a happy birthday birthday it's your birth all i want for my birthday is tessica to go home all i want for my birthday is tessica to go home bye y'all <laughs>